Hey everyone, since I've been reviewing every Godzilla movie ever made on the Third Planet Podcast, which you can find on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and right here on our YouTube channel, I thought it'd only be fair to take a look at some of King Kong's other on-screen adventures before we get to Godzilla vs. Kong. Originally, I was going to review King Kong Lives. But then I remember that movie is trash, so I decided to review King Kong Escapes instead. Which, to be honest, isn't that much better, but at least it's fun and a so bad it's good quality, and it's... I gotta admit, still better than King Kong Lives. So King Kong Escapes at first glance is either a sequel or a prequel to King Kong vs. Godzilla, being that both Kong suits look very similar, they have the same roar, and they both take place in the Showa era of Japanese kaiju movies. But it's actually based on the 1966 animated series The King Kong Show, although pretty loosely I might add. But the film does bring back Godzilla director Ishiro Honda and special effects artist Eiji Tsuburaya. Which is disappointing because this movie isn't that great compared to their Godzilla counterparts and I think the main reason for that is that this movie is geared heavily towards kids since it was based on a kids cartoon. But we're just going to ignore the fact that the movie features two people getting shot and a man being brutally crushed to death. But you know, for kids! Anyways, let's get into the plot. The evil Doctor Who and his killer eyebrows create a robot Kong known as Mechanic Kong to dig for a radioactive substance known as Element X. But due to the radiation, the Mechanic Kong malfunctions and is no longer able to dig for the radioactive substance. Meanwhile, a research team lands on Mondo Island, where three members of the team go ashore to explore and leave Lieutenant Susan Watson alone on this dangerous island all by herself, which is full of dangerous creatures and a supposed mythical gorilla named King Kong. Genius. Just then, Goro Shoris shows up, and we get a recreation of the Kong vs. T-Rex fight from the original 1933 movie. Eventually, Doctor Who and his team show up on the island, brutally murder the last native, and captures Kong. They bring him to his base to dig for Element X, but King Kong gets pissed off, breaks out, and escapes. Because get it? That's the name of the movie is called King Kong Escapes. So he's gotta escape somewhere in the movie. Cause he escapes. So Kong goes to Tokyo where Mechanic Kong is sent after him and the two have an epic fight, and the movie ends with Kong brutally killing Doctor Who and returning to his home. So, the story is super corny and the acting is pretty bad, mainly due to the horrible dubbing, and don't even get me started on the Kong suit. It's obvious now why so many kaiju designs are based on reptiles from that era, because man they had a problem pulling off mammals. While the suit looks a little better than the King Kong vs. Godzilla suit, it really isn't saying much. I mean, hell, you can see the zipper and the seam where the mask goes on for this suit. One thing I did want to talk about, though, is how mechas, which are giant robots like Mechagodzilla and Transformers, are all the rage in Japan and kaiju movies in general. Hell, they're even big in the US. From Godzilla anime to Pacific Rim, they're very popular. And we have this movie and the animated cartoons it's based on to thank for that. Yes, that's right, Mechanicong is considered the first mecha since he predates Mechagodzilla and even Ultraman. If it wasn't for this cheesy, poorly dubbed movie, we probably would have never gotten Mecha G, Power Rangers, or hell, even Transformers. So I guess you could say this movie is kind of important for its contributions to the kaiju genre. And like most Showa era kaiju movies, if you turn your brain off and just enjoy the cheesiness of it all, it could be a lot of fun. This movie is absolutely awful, but naturally, that's what makes it enjoyable to watch. So 10 out of 10, I love it and highly recommend it. So that's it for me guys, as always if you like what you see go on and hit subscribe to help us get to 100 subscribers on the channel, check out our new website, the link is in the description below, and remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.